<laughs> Dang, y'all travel to every game like this? Yeah, of course. Ooh That's what y'all fly? We heard you were going to get 100 yards. That's what y'all flew. Ooh. Get it right about this. Yeah, we got to be here for these three guys. What's, uh, so, so what, you knew you got 100 yards when you got your, I believe, when you got it. You, they put you back in to get it. What, what, how did that feel? Oh, I, I definitely didn't know about. I just learned that I had 100 yards coming out. Like the locker room. After I changed, I was like, 100 yards? Yeah, you had 110. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but all glory to God, man. And without him, I'm nothing. So. How good did it feel for all of you? Just to, We talked so much about getting the running game going with you guys, and you were able to do that today. How important was that? Uh, just the offensive line clicking, and they clicked at the right time. We came in, and I told them before the game, was like, we got to play with a mentality, and that's what they came out and did. They came out, and they showed up. And that's what we need every week. And I tell them we just got to keep building, keep building, keep building. So. DJ, you call yourself a football player. You've done it over and over. But today you look like a real running back. And that, that's got to give you a great sense of accomplishment, I would think. Uh, yeah, I, I felt good as a, a ball player today. And, I mean, playing running back is fun. And I, I just going to keep applying the same energy that I do every day. So now he can stop being booed now. So you're right about that. Stop booing Malik. That's I don't like that. That's not something that our fans should be about. And I mean, yeah, it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be upset. But Malik came out today and he played with an edge and he played like the starter should. And he's going to keep keep playing like that, continue playing like that week in and week out. And you'll see Malik's going to be great. Malik, he's okay. I, I, stand, I firmly stand behind Malik. A lot of your yards were, you know, tough yards inside, you know, physical runs, and you put on some weight and muscle in the off season. Did you feel today the benefits of that? Uh, it's really not even that. It's just our offensive line getting a push at, at the point of attack, and I'm just following the guys like Tyler Gauthier, uh, Tyree St. Louis, and those guys, uh, Hayden Mahoney. So it's, it's really just them getting a push at the point of attack and me following their lead. Before the game, you, I saw you after the warm-ups kind of turned around to the students and kind of like bring it on. Did, did they kind of read maybe some of the things you had said this week and did you, did you kind of enjoy that part of it? I know you like being the old school king. Yeah, I <laughs> went out and went, uh, went at the game like I always go at the game. It's, we're in enemy territory and I just feel like you want it, come get it. So we went out and we got it. And I, I told you in the beginning of the week. We're built to crush dreams, and that's what we're doing. And next week, it'll be the same thing. It's the same story. Underdog trying to come beat Miami in Hard Rock and just going to have no business. DJ, to be able Last to answer those punches when they pulled within one, you know, within a touchdown twice, what does that say about this team? How you guys didn't, didn't go in the tank after that? We're coming along. We're going to be a great team. I'm, I have confidence in Coach Rick, confidence in my, my teammates, and I just feel like this proves to us that we can be great. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate DJ. you. Appreciate it.